what's good everybody uh king talk um i haven't i haven't made a video where i'm, I'm speaking in, in some time um and i haven't really posted anything in in a few weeks uh got some things going on i wanted to get back into uh a routine to where i post uh daily or, or weekly um one thing i wanted to talk about is um this whole Derek jackson uh situation uh, un an unfortunate situation um, but I guess the reality is, is, uh, with a man such as him that downplayed and, and, and talked about and, and made money off of and made a career off, you know, downgrading black man, which he is a part of, um, you know, some, some things came to light. Uh, it was, uh, within the week it was exposed or he was exposed for cheating on his wife. Um, and then he, you know, recently admitted to, to cheating. Um, I wanted to make. A video I, I kind of thought about you know some commentary on the whole situation um, it, it's man, it's, it's really an unfortunate situation I mean just watching the video alone you could see I can't say that she was forced to do anything I can't say you know I, I can't speak for what she has been through as a as a black man myself um, it's definitely making all of us look bad especially coming from from Derek Jackson who uh you know kind of put us down continuously for years um but to see uh this black woman who it was almost like she was soulless like everything and kind of like she was forced into the eye of you know of the public because of the situation you know if anything as a as an introvert myself to be placed in, in the spotlight when you don't want to be in a spotlight not that she has ever been in the spotlight because quite honestly i didn't even know he was married um so for someone who was just being a wife and to be cheated on multiple times and to have to deal with this in the ridicule of her husband and to actually have your husband cheat on you it, it, it's a lot it, it's got to be um but you know Beyond all the memes and, and, and stuff that I wanted to speak about, it was one that 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 touched me. And, and I'll go ahead and read it, and you guys should be able to see it too. So, K-Hope made a comment on, on the YouTube video, and she pretty much said, um, she just looks out of it, like her heart isn't in it anymore. Once you show your woman that you're easily tempted to chase other women, there's nothing you can do to get the original love back. And that's true. Um... I can't sit up here and say as a as a black man that I, I've been perfect or or never cheated, but to have a woman to speak on this, I, I think this was all truth. So K Hope, you know, with with that comment, it, it made nothing but sense and it was nothing but the truth. Um, but kind of fast forwarding beyond the whole situation because I don't want to speak too much on it. But um, Danea, I believe, is his wife's name. Um, Danea Jackson uh, she actually posted a, uh, a video so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is let the video play I just wanted to give a, a brief brief intro I appreciate you guys and all the subscribers um, my goal is to continuously make videos throughout the week um, daily or, or weekly but I'm gonna go ahead and let this video play and that way you can hear what uh, see what or hear what Danea uh, Jackson has to say appreciate you guys peace Hey world, this is Danea Jackson here, um, here to answer a question. I keep on getting this question. Why now did Derek beat you and drag you to save him? Well, first let me say that only Jesus Christ can save Derek, okay? Only Jesus can save him. He has already done that, and now Derek is laying in the bed that he made with the actions that he took. And the only person that saved him from that and can save him from it is Jesus Christ. I can't do anything, say anything to to do that. His actions were his actions. And unfortunately, other people decided that they wanted to take whatever they wanted to do and do and, and run with that. But no weapons formed against us shall prosper on that piece. Why am I speaking now? I've come to confront the issue that says you cannot be healed, that it takes this amount of time for you to be healed, that you have to be depressed, have anxiety, hide your face, uh, 
you once a cheater always a cheater uh <laughs> you are this and we are this and we are that you can never overcome the situation there's always um someone better well those are lies from the pit of hell but it's because what we don't understand is that there is a spiritual war going on so though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh so when we understand it and we understand the the things that are behind the action and the behavior then we know that hey there is a spiritual battle that is going on and I've come to confront and to reveal the plot and the scheme of the enemy that says you cannot have this. You cannot be healed. You cannot be set free. You have to stay in bondage. You have to leave. You have to divorce X, Y, Z in the third because of this thing. Well, you do not have to do those things. Just because something is dead does not mean it cannot be resurrected by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the resurrect, by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. And that is what he did in our situation. So I've come to testify. I've come to be a witness to you. I've come to set you free. I've come to share the, the, the pain and to testify. I know the pain that comes from certain aspects of this type of situation, but that does not define who you are. You don't have to stay in bondage to that. You don't have to stay with bitter roots that says, forget this person, forget marriage, forget all of these things, because those are roots of bitterness and anger, and that requires deliverance. So I've come to be a witness, as my Lord and Savior has commanded me to be. Um, second to that, I never had a desire to come and speak to the public in this capacity, um, and being attached to someone who is a, a great public figure a great orator who 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 presents himself well can be uh, a lot to deal with especially with coming to the world who says you have to look a certain way you have to sit up proper a certain way you have to articulate yourself a certain way you have to wear your hair a certain way you have to do all of these things which I'm not I don't meet up to that I don't care about these things that says oh I have to do all these things. I have to wear a certain thing. I have to have the right lighting and all these things. That is not my ministry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be who the Lord has told me to be. He's told me I am his daughter. I am his warrior. And he told me, Danea Jackson, arise and testify and speak and spread the word of the gospel and spread the good news that I heal, I deliver, I set free, I resurrect from the dead. He can resurrect your finances. He can resurrect your marriage. He can resurrect you. He can resurrect every aspect of your life because we can do nothing without him. And when we learn that, then we are able to move freely and have the peace that we deserve. So when the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy your marriage... You, your family, you can disarm him with the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. You can disarm him with, with not allowing him and exposing the plot and the scheme of the enemy that says you cannot recover. You cannot have healing. That you are this and you are that. Well, Satan is a lie. And I've come to, to share that. That is what I have to offer out of all of this. So what the enemy has meant for evil in this situation that has become public is been turned for good. And with that, I will do as I'm commanded to do by my master, Jesus Christ. And I will confront these issues head on. And for those who are have shared that they have been inspired, that they um, are finding strength in their own situations, I want to say be encouraged. Um, it is a journey and a process, and you have the the have the Lord as your shield and your mighty buckler to push through. Speak with boldness. Um, speak with no fear. Be unashamed of who you are and what the Lord has called you to do and the healing that he has given to you, no matter what the situation is. So that's all I have to say on that. 
Again, uh, I appreciate everybody who has been inspired, who has shown love, who is rooting for us, and um, for everybody else, every demonic tongue speaking against us, be condemned now in the name of Jesus. I release the blessings of the Lord upon your lives, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.